Good morning, Tri-Central Elementary students and staff. Today is day number two of school. It is Tuesday, August the 9th, 2022. Hope all of you had a great first day here at Tri-Central Elementary. At this time, we're going to have a Pledge of Allegiance and Moment of Silence. And before we do that, I want to remind everyone of the importance of standing up, taking your right hand, placing it over your heart, and standing and facing the American flag. All the classrooms should have an American flag. If you're in the gym, the gym has an American flag. So I need everyone to please stand, be respectful, and face the flag at this time. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This time we'll have a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. As a reminder at Tri-Central Elementary, we always want to be treating people right and doing the right thing and being respectful um, during the pledge. The national anthem, for example, might be saying at a ball game that you go to later on this year or a football game. It's always very important to be respectful Put your hand over your heart, and if you don't feel comfortable putting your hand over your heart for the national anthem, at least make sure we're quiet and we're always facing the flag and being respectful for all the men and women who have served for us. Hey, Miss Louie, yes. um, I know this is your first time doing announcements, so welcome to the announcements. Thank you, thank you. So could you tell the boys and girls what they're having for lunch today? For sure. Today is mini corn dogs, baked beans, peaches, and milk. Awesome. And I know we had some birthdays. What are our birthdays? We had a lot of birthdays, but today is at is Addie W's birthday. In August we had Jessica M, Maverick K, Arlie P, Big Say K, Eli C, Wyatt W, Lucy J, Macy K, and Michael S. Awesome. So as you know, boys and girls, we focus on a lifeline each month, and so this uh, month our lifeline is problem solving. So the definition of problem solving is to create solutions in difficult situations and everyday problems. So one of the things that I do for problem solving is, for example, over the summer, if I have a problem and I'm not sure how to solve it, I might take my computer out and I might go to Google and I might search a way to try to find an answer to try and help me with the problem I'm having. Or you know a simple one is if the teacher says, Mr. Miller, I need you to bring three pencils to school and I have two pencils that I brought to school, what could I do to problem solve to try and figure out how I could maybe get a third pencil? Well, later on at school, the bookstore is going to be open. There's a pencil machine that carries pencils in our building. I might be able to ask a friend, hey, Miss Louie, do you have another pencil I could borrow today? She might have one for me. Or I could go up to the teacher and say, hey, teacher, is there any chance I could have a third pencil? I totally forgot mine, but tonight I'll go home and I'll make sure and find that third pencil and bring it to school tomorrow. So those are a couple examples of problem solving. So this month, I hope that you focus on the lifeline of problem solving. We are going to have some newscast signups that are going to be available for our fourth and fifth graders. So if you are interested in doing what Miss Louie and I are doing right now, um, you can talk with Mrs. Adams and she will tell you how to go about that process. So one of the things we're always going to do for every one of our announcements, just like we did yesterday, is I'm going to have you repeat the Life Goal Pledge. And one of the challenges I'm going to give the newscast members is if they would like to change up what they say in the Life Goal Pledge, they can approve that with Mrs. Adams and you can change it up a little bit. But for today, we're going to do our normal Life Goal Pledge. And I know we do this every single day, every single year, but it's important that we are all saying it and believing what we say. So if you would pl please echo after me. I will do the right thing even if I don't feel like it. I will do the right thing even if I don't feel like it. I will treat people right even if I don't feel like it. I will treat people right even if I don't feel like it. Today I will remember. Today I will remember. My willpower is stronger. My willpower is stronger. Than how I feel or what I think. Than how I feel or what I think. All things are possible. 
All things are possible. Good news is headed my way. Good news is headed my way. And you believe it. And you believe it. Very good. See, I changed it up a little bit. So newscast members, fourth and fifth graders, this is my challenge to you. If you become a newscast member, you can change up the Life Goal Pledge a little bit so it's not the same one each and every day. So Mrs. Adams went around during Meet the Teacher Night or Open House and she took several pictures. So she's going to show those pictures right after morning announcements today. So boys and girls, I know you get tired of hearing this too, but I really believe this. If everybody treats people right and you do the right thing, you will have peace. peace. Have a great day.